This is R. D. Sharma's solution, class 11, chapter number 24. The circle exercise is 24.1. Find the equation of the circle with. So there are around five parts here, and in each and every part, we have to find the equation of the circle. When the center is given, and the radius is given. Center and radius is given, so equation need to be found. So let us start with the equation h and k. This h and k is given in the first part, and also the radius is given, which is 4. So if you see this x minus h whole square, y minus k whole square equals a square h in place of h you are going to place minus 2, x minus 1 minus 2 will be plus 2, x2, x plus 2. In place of k you are going to put 3, in place of r you are going to put 4, so it will be, this, the, this will be the equation. Then the second one, center is a comma b and radius is given as under root a square plus b square. Same formula you have to keep in mind, in place of h put a, in place of k put b. In place, of, in place of a square, as I said, the radius is given as a square plus b square. So, r square or a square, a square or r square and this is going to be a square plus b square. Now, just open this. Let me open this x square plus a square minus 2ax plus y square plus b square minus 2yb. And this equals a square plus b square. Cancel this a square b square. You get x square plus y square minus 2x minus 2by equals 0. The third one is center is 0 minus 1 and radius is 1. So put h as 0 and this k as 1, uh, this minus 1. So you will get this equation. Here the center is a cos alpha, a sin alpha h and k and radius is a. So x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals a square. So just open this x square plus a square cos square alpha minus 2 a x cos alpha is the first one. Then this one y square plus a square sin square alpha minus 2 a y sin alpha and this equals a square. Now this a square cos square alpha and a square sin square alpha we can combine together. This is a square cos square alpha, this is a square sin square alpha. a square, just take a square common, so sin square plus cos square. The sin square plus cos square will be 1, so it will be a square. So this you can replace it by a square. So x square and then you have a square minus 2ax cos alpha. Minus 2 a y sin alpha will remain a square a square you can cancel it from left and right. So you can just cancel this a square. This will be the final equation. The next one is the center is a a and radius is under root 2 a. So put h and k as a a the radius is root 2 a. So just put the square. So r square will be this root 2 whole square is 2, a is, is a square. So this is 2a square. So just open this. x square plus a square minus 2x plus y square plus a square minus 2ay. And this is a root, a whole, root 2 whole square in place of you can root, write 2a square. 2 square is nothing but a square plus a square. And you can just cancel this 2a square means 2a square left hand side, right hand side. So x square plus y square minus 2ax minus 2ay equals 0 is the equation of the circle. Here we have question number 2. So there are 4 parts here. What we have done in the first question, this is the you can say converse or the reverse. We are given the equation from here we have to find out the center and radius. So whichever equation is there, you just try to make it as x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals a square. For this, for example, this equation first one, x minus 1 whole square plus y square equals 4. You can write it as y minus 0 whole square 
equals 4 that is 2 square 4 is 2 square so x minus h h is 1 h is 1 y minus 0 whole square so k is 0 a becomes 0 and 4 but which is a, a square or r square that is going to be 4 that is 2 so a or radius will be 2 so this is radius is 2 h and k is uh, h1 k0 the next one is this is x plus 5 whole square plus y plus 1 whole square equals 9 and as i said this th this is negative x minus h whole square so you can write it as x minus of minus 5 y minus of minus 1 and this 9 can be written as 3 square so minus 5 minus 1 are h and k and this 9 which is 3 square which is radius so radius is 3 9 is 3 square center minus 5 minus 1 radius is 3 third one x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y equals 5 so what do we do here combine the x we will try to make it as a perfect square and whatever we have added to the perfect square making it perfect square we have we have to add it on the right hand side also so x square and minus 4x what you have to do just take the coefficient of x that is 4 divide by 2 take the coefficient of x divide by 2 and square it that is 2 minus 2 or 2 square it so once you square it this square has to be added and subtracted to make this as a perfect square i hope you got the idea to make a quadratic equation as a perfect square x square minus 4x was there we divided the the coefficient of x by 2 and added and subtracted it so i'm adding it i'm adding 4 so i have to subtract 4 also because i have added it myself similarly this y square plus 6y 6y just divide 6 by 2 what do you get 3 so this 6 divided by 2 that is 3 you just add 3 square and subtract 3 square add 3 square subtract 3 square so you have 9 so you can add 9 and subtract also the 9 so whatever you are adding you have to subtract also and on the right hand side you already have a 5 so this will be x minus 2 whole square and this will become uh, y plus 3 this is y y plus 3 whole square and you have uh, so this this is 4 you have added so you have to subtract 4 you have added 9 so you have to subtract 9 so minus 4 and minus 9 was there and you have to take it this minus 4 minus 9 you can take it on the right hand side so 4 5 and 9 it will become 18 4 9 from the left hand side take it on the right hand side that will be uh, 19 18 so you get x minus 2 whole square y minus of minus 3 whole square and this equals under root 18 whole square under root 18 whole square under root this is first of all h and k h because it is minus already so h is 2 and k is minus 3 h and k we have this is root 18 so root 18 how do you write root 18 you can write it as 9 into 2 you can take them separately root 9 root 2 this is through root 3 root 2 so radius is 3 root 2 so the next one also same thing we have to do x square plus y square minus x plus 2y minus 3 equals 0 now take the x term together x square minus x so you just take the coefficient of x that is 1 divide it by 2 that is 1 by 2 square it 1 by 4 add and subtract add and subtract so the coefficient of x we have divided it by 2 we have squared it and added and subtracted so just add and subtract 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 similarly with y square y square plus 2y now 2 the coefficient of y is 2 so divided by 2 you get 1 now add this one and subtract this one add this one subtract this one to make it as a perfect square this equals minus minus 3 equals 0 so this this from here to here you get x minus 1 by 2 whole square that is one perfect square then you have i'm taking the, everything on the right hand side so 3 plus 3 will be on the right hand side 1 by 4 on the right hand side and 1 on the right hand side so all plus 
So plus three plus one by four plus one. That is negative. I'm going to change it just now. So making it perfect square y plus one whole square. So you have minus half. Already minus is there. You can write it as minus minus of minus one whole square. And this is going to be plus three. So one plus one by four is five by four. Five by four plus three is uh, eight is seventeen by four. Five by four plus three. You have to do it. So you get 17 by 4 on the right hand side and you already have the h and k you can see on the left hand side. So write just write just write it at uh, this plus 3 5 plus 5 plus 12 by 4 17 by 4. So here you just have 17 by 4 this is this is minus h is minus half the k is minus 1 and r is under root 17 by you can write it as 2 square take if you want to take a under root so it would be under root 17 by 2 this is the radius question number question number 3 find the equation of the circle whose center is 1 comma 2 and which passes through the point 4 comma c so it's quite clear you know the equation x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals a square. So h and k is given here that is the center is given here h and k. So we'll put h as 1 k as 2 which is equals to a square. Now h and k as it is given here we'll just use this in our equation and the uh, second thing is that this this uh, circle is passing through 4 comma 6 so when it is passing through 4 and 6 this 4 and 6 is going to satisfy this equation so you can replace this x and y with 4 and 6 in place of x you can put 4 4 in place of y you can put 6 so i'm putting a 4 and 6 here so 4 minus 1 whole square that is 3 square 9 6 minus 2 4 4 4 16 so you get a square as 16 that is a is 5 now a is 5 this equation already we know just put it here so x minus 1 whole square y minus 2 whole square equals 25 is the required equation you can just open it just open this and try to resolve this equation final equation will be this one as i said you have to you have to take the initial equation put hk as 1 2 try to find out a square because it is passing through 4 and 6 once a square is known, put again in the equation number 1 and that is the final equation. Just open this. This is question number 4. 4. Find the equation of the circle passing through the point of intersection of the lines x plus 3y equals 0 and 2x minus 7y equals 0 and whose center is the point of intersection of the lines x plus y plus 1 equals 0 and x minus 2 y plus 4 equals to 0. So we need the center, we need the circle which is passing through some point and those two points will only get through these four lines pairwise. So if you take this x plus 3 y equals 0 and 2 x minus 7 y 0 you need to find out the intersection of these two point that point that as 0 0 this circle is passing through. So I hope you will be able to find out the intersection point, right? This is just just a linear equation in uh, in variable, so you can solve it. The other two equation when you solve it, this exactly equation is saying that this is the center. So x plus y plus one and x minus two y plus four. When you intersect it, it will be minus two and one. So zero zero, and a circle which is passing through zero zero, and the center is minus two and one. We know the original equation x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals a square. In place of h and k put as h and k just put as 2 and minus 2 and 1. a square will be there. But this equation the circle is passing through 0 0. So you will place x and y as 0 0. This is x this is y. So just put this and try to find out a. You'll a get a as root 5. A as root 5. 
when a is root 5, put this here, x plus 2 whole square, y minus 1 whole square equals 5, equals 5. We just open this and this is our, just open this and just resolve it, you will get x square plus 4x plus y square minus 2y equals 0 as the final equation. I am not uh, doing it completely because there is no nothing special about it. Whenever something special comes, I am going to solve it. This is question number 5. Find the equation of the circle whose center lies on the positive direction of y axis at a distance 6 from the origin and whose radius is 4. So, in the question itself, it is clearly given, clearly given in the words that is the center lies on the, this is y this is positive direction of y axis at a distance of 6 from the origin so what is this point this is this point is all always on the y y axis x is 0 so you have 0 comma 6 so this is 0 6 first thing is this center center is here one more thing is that the radius is also given. So, h is known as 0, k is 6 on the y axis. Always keep this equation in your mind because everywhere this equation is going to be used or employed. So, we are given this radius is 4, radius is also given, radius is 4. So, in place of h you put 0, in place of k you put 6 and in place of a you are going to put 4. So, x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 6 whole square equals 16, 4 square is 16. So, just open this, resolve it, combine the like terms and this is the equation. The next is, if the equation of two diameters of a circle are 2x plus y equals 6 and 3x plus 2y equals 4 and the radius is 6, 10, find the equation of the circle. So, when we have a circle, if you take one diameter, if you take another diameter, whenever they intersect, that is the center of that center of that circle. So, first we have to take these two equations, 2x plus y equals 6. The another equation is 3x plus 2y equals 4. Take two, these two equations and try to find out the intersection point. That will be h and k. That, is, that will be h and k. So, radius is already given. r is 10. So, you just put it in the formula. This equation, as I said, this is going to be used multiple times. So, you just solve these two equations. I hope you will be able to solve a linear equation. And we have done it, you know, we have done 24 chapters now. We know how to solve this equation. In 10th, also we solved it. In 10th standard. So, when we solve it, 8 and minus 10 is going to come. H is going to be 8 and K is minus 10. Radius is already given 10. Put it here. X minus 8 whole square plus Y minus or minus 10 that is y plus 10 whole square equals a square equals a square just put it here x minus 8 whole square plus y plus 10 whole square equals 100 just open it resolve it and you are going to get this as the equation okay this question we are going to take in the next discussion okay till then thank you so much take care of yourself